Hey guys, welcome back to Ditswitch Demos. My name is Jackson and today we're going to check out the VS Audio Pandora. So the Pandora from VS Audio is based off of the classic Arbiter Fuzz Face, as are hundreds if not thousands of other pedals. So what actually makes the Pandora unique and different and cool? Well as it turns out, quite a lot actually. VS Audio have really taken a step back to look at the bigger picture to see what guitarists want now from a vintage style fuzz pedal. More flexibility with signal chain a more tweakable EQ maybe, more reliability, more volume, but still manage to sound old. And I'm actually not sure that any pedal has achieved all of those things while still sounding vintage and old school. Until maybe this. Let me know what you think later on when you've watched the rest of the video. The Pandora is built from the ground up, all analog, around two NOS hand selected Tungscram Scram AC125 Germanium transistors. All good so far and that does sound pretty old school to me, but the rest is undoubtedly modern with three distinct features that I think you're gonna love. But first, let's hear the damn thing. <laughs> The tones are totally vintage and to me on the face of it, it just sounds like a great fuzz face. You know, get rid of these features that I'm about to tell you about and it's still a great pedal. But the first of these modern features that I want to talk about is this EQ section. You get a super powerful bass and treble control which are both active allowing you to basically boost and cut the bass and treble frequencies by 20 decibels. That's a huge amount of sort of tone shaping possibilities available with this pedal. 20 decibels 
is a hell of a lot of volume, each minus or plus. You could thicken out the low end if you're using single coils, you could harshen up the top end if you wanted to get closer to maybe a tone bender. You could also cut both the low and highs and boost the volume if you wanted more mids in the sound, or you could just tweak it to taste depending on what amp you're running into. <laughs> The next feature I want to talk about is actually one I almost discovered by accident and it's to do with this second foot switch here. What I did know is that it was a boost for the fuzz, basically giving you more volume and aggression for lead tones, but what I didn't know or what I didn't realise at first was that it's a completely independent circuit and works completely separately to the fuzz side of the pedal. Therefore it's just as useful and sounds just as good on its own or boosting other pedals. It's a very transparent, clean type boost. However, there is no kind of external control for the boost side and I would have liked to maybe have a fifth knob on here for a level control for the boost, but it's pretty good. <laughs> kind of cool feature I want to talk about with this pedal is one that's actually always working in the background. A unique buffer circuit has been added to the front end of the fuzz, basically acts as if the fuzz is always seeing the direct output from your guitar and it's always being driven directly from your guitar. Not only does this give you more consistency and maybe more reliability when you're switching guitars maybe, but the key feature is that it allows you to be a bit more lenient with where you put it in your signal chain on your pedal board. Traditionally, vintage style fuzzers really need to see the output from your guitar. It needs to be first in your signal chain, but not with a Pandora, and it's because of that buffer. It works anywhere in your signal chain that you want to put it.
few other tricks up the Pandora sleeve that's worth mentioning. Uh, the switches are actually momentary silent switches. So if you hold the bypass switch down, for example, it will stay on for as long as you hold it down. Of course, it works normally as well, latching. Also, if you turn the fuzz all the way down, you get a really great low gain, crunchy overdrive sound, almost clean breakup, edge of breakup sort of tone. Combine that with the boost and you just have another great way of boosting the front end of your amp. Kind of expanding on that point as well, just like any good fuzz face, this Pandora cleans up really nicely on the volume knob on your guitar. Actually, some of my favorite clean, glassy tones are from fuzz faces. <laughs> It's now a staple in my fuzz collection because it still retains that old school vintage vibe but gives me a few more modern tweaks that I might want on the pedal board when I'm out gigging. Or maybe I'm creating a much smaller pedal board for example, I know real estate is a big thing. I basically have a fuzz and a boost in one pedal. It's really, really great. Thanks guys for checking out the video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and maybe check out some more. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.